Do not be conformed to this world, says the Bible. As Baptists, we may not have a standard constitutional structure or a standard liturgy, which we use on a Sunday, but nonetheless, the pattern and the practices of our meetings and our worship are determined, conformed by the culture we inhabit, the behaviours we inherit, and the physical structures which house us. At Hawfield Baptist Church, we are exploring how we've been conformed and perhaps even constrained by the wonderful building which we formerly inhabited and the expectations of a legacy of being, at one time, the largest Baptist church in Europe. In more recent times, we've prayerfully conceded that we have experienced our magnificent building as a burden, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. And so, through a prayerful process, we've swapped premises with the local Anglican joint benefice, selling our building and purchasing what had been the parish rooms of one of their buildings, which is just 200 metres away on the same road. If you've never heard of such a thing happening before, it's because it almost never has. But both churches are convinced that this is the work of God. Each building is the answer to the prayers of the other church, and the exchange itself has been remarkably swift and without major hold-ups. Let me show you around a bit. The building has two major spaces on the ground floor, with toilets, a commercial standard kitchen, and a large room which we will be using as a prayer space in between them. Outside, there's a car park. Who ever heard of such a thing in this busy part of Bristol? And a secluded garden. The larger hall is a beautiful space filled with light and air. This is where we worship on a Sunday, but it's also hired out during the week and used by lots of local groups with which we now have a relationship. What does your theology or church practice say? Do you have a space which is reserved just for worship? Perhaps you call it the sanctuary. Sharing our space has made us consider how we use the gift from God of our building and how we witness to our faith to the others who use it. This space is our prayer space. Rather than becoming a through room, here is a space to pause, to become aware of God's presence with us at all times to break with conformity to the busyness of our everyday lives. The smaller of the two halls is our ministry space. In here, we run courses, host breakfasts, and a welcoming space, which is already becoming the basis for outreach to a variety of folks in our local community. Here is where the practical outworking of the other part of that quote from the Bible takes place. Allowing ourselves to be transformed by the renewing of our minds in prayer, in ministry, in mission, as we reflect on and explore in active participative ways on how we are church in a different space.